Hey everybody, it's Aaron with Mountain Bike Adventures and we might get a little bit of rain today. Let's keep our fingers crossed. We really need it because the roads and the jumps and everything are getting really powdery. Speaking of jumps, this road right here needs to be graded. So I've been spending a lot of time trying to grade it down. I've been trying to figure out where to put all the excess dirt. And I decided to make a jump line in parallel with the road. That way it's easy to maintain, easy to build, and I have a place to put the dirt. So I'm gonna show you guys what I've done so far. You can see we already got one tabletop almost completed. It's all rough. I know I haven't tested it or nothing like that, but Joe from the Colorado Kid, he helped me out with this one. We actually kind of wetted it down and everything. They start out about 10 feet and they progress to about 12 to 14 feet to the end. I gotta, it's hard to get the backhoe in here and clean this up. So I did the best I could with the, I actually had to prop the backhoe up, up right here, which is kind of scary because it's quite, quite an angle. It doesn't look like it on camera. Let's take some more of a look down here though. I'll show you what else, kind of what I've got going on. Yeah, fast forward this walking part. Okay, you can see this one here. I haven't finished stacking it yet. That's kind of a, I don't want to say it's really a berm. It is a berm, but it's more of an embankment just to help you get lined up with this jump here. I have a feeling this one may have to be adjusted a little bit. And then we're gonna have a nice berm right here. Even though I greased the fittings on this thing, it still makes a squeak. I think it's the hydraulics. Right now what I'm doing is I'm just taking off a little bit of material right off the top. I don't want to go too deep. Then I'm going to turn around and use the front loader and scoop up this extra material and take it over to my jump. It's a little rough in the morning. I've been clinging that bucket around a bit too much already. Well, the rough cut is coming along. Still have to add just a touch more dirt. So I'm right about 13 steps and I want it to be 14. So I'm gonna add a little bit more, beef up this back, and I'm gonna grade it out.
jumps I'm designing are more for beginners, kind of like myself. The back's going to be tapered down slightly, but you're going to have a long run out in case you do overshoot it. Um, I'm not a professional jump builder. I just have a little experience from the Elk Grove Bike Park and volunteering there a lot. But uh, I kind of have an idea how far these should be paced out. And, you know, so you could get set up before the next jump and all that stuff. But I usually do have to go back through and tweak all my stuff. I used the backhoe as much as I could to kind of pack it in and shape it. I couldn't quite get it up here all the way to make a nice good tabletop. So you see I had to kind of push some things in and, and, and kind of do a rough with the tools, the hand tools, which that's not uncommon. It's kind of hard to do fine tuning with a backhoe on jumps especially when you grade and everything is really crazy in here. So I'm going to start wrapping it up. I really appreciate you guys checking out the uh, tabletop builds. I'm going to try to dial all these in before the rain kicks in. That way we'll kind of be able to wet them up and maybe pack them in. Hopefully we'll get lucky. If you guys want to make life an adventure, rent a backhoe and build some tabletops. Thank you very much.